Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Labrik. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of good wishes from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the occasion of Bahrain's National Day and the anniversary of the establishment of the modern state of Bahrain as an Arab and Muslim country in 1783 by his founder Ahmed Al Fatah and the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. His Royal Highness recalled with pride Bahrain's development achievements in various sectors in accordance with the visions and aspirations of His Majesty the King, which made citizens the basis for development and its focus, for whom all priorities and programs in all sectors are directed in a manner that contributes to creating promising opportunities to achieve the goals that His Majesty established with skill and wisdom while prioritizing the country's interests. His Royal Highness renewed his pledge and loyalty to His Majesty to move forward in serving the country based on the approach of His Majesty to build Bahrain's present and bright future as Team Bahrain takes inspiration from His Majesty so that the kingdom remains as His Majesty always wanted, a civilized model on every level. His Royal Highness also recalled the martyrs of duty who sacrificed all to defend the homeland and whose sacrifices were immortalized by His Majesty's dedicating a national day for them, which proves the loyalty, gratitude and appreciation that His Majesty holds for all the people of Bahrain. He wished His Majesty the King many happy returns of the occasion as well as abundant health and happiness. His Majesty the King sent a cable of thanks to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, in which he expressed thanks and appreciation for the good wishes. His Majesty recalled the memory of the righteous martyrs of duty for their efforts and sacrifices in defending the homeland and its pride, and for the national uh, for the nation and its dignity. His Majesty expressed pride in the achievements made in Bahrain and the civilizational development and their effect on the lives of the people of Bahrain, expressing appreciation and pride in the developmental and honorable achievements that His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and uh, Prime Minister made and his continuous efforts in all fields to achieve the aspirations of citizens. His Majesty wished His Royal Highness abundant health and happiness. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a congratulatory cable from Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King, President of the Supreme Council for Women, the STW, Princess Sabika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa, on the occasion of Bahrain's National Day and the anniversary of the establishment of the modern state of Bahrain as an Arab and Muslim country in 1783 by his founder Ahmed Al Fatah and the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne, in which Her Royal Highness affirmed that it is a pleasant anniversary for the prosperous era of His Majesty the King, wishing it further success. Her Royal Highness congratulated His Majesty the King for the remarkable civilizational achievements that Bahrain is witnessing with the sincere and relentless efforts of its people, who exert their utmost efforts to make further achievements, which there is a result of His Majesty's leadership and guidance, as well as the efforts of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, who works tirelessly to achieve His Majesty's aspirations and hopes for the advancement and prosperity of the people of Bahrain. Her Royal Highness renewed the pledge to serve the country under the leadership of His Majesty the King, pledging to His Majesty to continue contributing to the march of progress and development inspired by His Majesty's vision to maintain Bahrain's status. His Majesty the King sent a cable of thanks to Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King, wishing her and the people of Bahrain many happy returns of progress, growth and prosperity. His Majesty the King hailed the role of Her Royal Highness in outstanding national contributions, especially in the field of advancing Bahraini women, through Her Royal Highness's leadership of the SCW to achieve more gains for women and the Bahraini family, wishing all many happy returns. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the Honorary President of the Rashid Equestrian Horse Racing Club, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, on the occasion of Bahrain's National Day, the anniversary of the establishment of the modern state of Bahrain as an Arab and Muslim country in 1783 by his founder Ahmed Al Fatah, the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. His Highness extended his sincere congratulations and wishes of health and happiness to His Majesty and to Bahrain and his people for their progress and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the Minister of Royal Court Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Ali bin Isa Al Khalifa, on the occasion of Bahrain's National Day, the anniversary of the establishment of the modern state of Bahrain as an Arab and Muslim country in 1783 by the founder Ahmed Al Fatah, the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. His Highness extended his sincere congratulations and wishes of health and happiness to His Majesty and to Bahrain and his people for their progress and prosperity. 
His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from the BDF Commander in Chief Field Marshal Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa on the occasion of Bahrain's National Day, the anniversary of the establishment of the modern state of Bahrain and an Arab and Muslim country in 1783 by its founder Ahmed Al Fatih. The anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. The Field Marshal extended his sincere congratulations and wishes of health and happiness to His Majesty and to Bahrain and his people for their progress and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received congratulatory cables from their Majesties and Highnesses, leaders of Arab, Islamic, and friendly countries, marking Bahrain's National Day celebrations and the establishment of the modern Bahraini state as an Arab and Muslim country founded by Ahmed Al Fatih in 1783 and the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. The leaders expressed their sincere congratulations and wishes of abundant health and happiness to His Majesty the King and to Bahrain and his people of further progress and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa today issued a royal decree pardoning 361 inmates who were convicted in various court cases and have served parts of their jail terms. The royal kind gesture marking the kingdom's national days in commemoration of the establishment of the modern Bahraini state as an Arab and Muslim state founded by Ahmed Al Fatih in 1783. And the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne reflects His Majesty King Hamad's keenness to provide the pardoned inmates with the opportunity to integrate into society anew and participate in the Kingdom's development march. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa held a retreat attended by Bahrain's cabinet to discuss the government's work stream priorities, initiatives and proposals that are in line with His Majesty the King's vision. His Royal Highness directed that in light of the unprecedented challenges the global economy has faced in recent years, the kingdom's priority sectors that provide quality jobs for Bahrain citizens should be strengthened. Additionally, His Royal Highness stressed on Bahrain's commitment to implementing Bahrain Economic Vision 2030 to build a modern, sustainable and diversified economy. His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince and Prime Minister also addressed the importance of improving the efficiency and quality of government services. In this regard, the satisfaction of Bahraini citizens with government services is a key indicator of success. Additionally, employing accountability, transparency and responsibility across government work streams is crucial to safeguarding public funds and ensuring that resources are used sustainably. His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad concluded by directing cabinet members that the well-being and success of Bahrain citizens is their priority and that fostering partnerships with the legislative authority and the private sector is essential to nurturing a prosperous future for the kingdom. The representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa on the occasion of the national holidays in commemoration of the anniversary of the establishment of the modern Bahraini state founded by Ahmed Al Fatih in 1783 and the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. His Highness Sheikh Nasser affirmed that national days are a source of pride, noting that they provide an opportunity to recall the kingdom's wide ranging achievements during his. His Majesty King Hamad's prosperous era. His Highness Sheikh Nasser indicated that the kingdom has attained major achievements over the last period as part of the continuous comprehensive development process led by His Majesty the King through His Majesty's reform project that reflected positively on all sectors. His Highness Sheikh Nasser added that during His Majesty King Hamad's prosperous era, all youth and sports sectors have been boosted, giving the youth category greater roles in enriching the Kingdom's Progress March, citing their success in reaching leadership posts, expressing confidence in Bahraini youth's ability to bring about more national achievements thanks to their patriotism. Zahid Sheikh Nasser concluded that the National Days provide an opportunity to celebrate national achievements and gains to ensure that the Kingdom remains an oasis of knowledge, landmark accomplishments, tolerance, coexistence, stability, security and prosperity. The Speaker of the Council of Representatives, Ahmed al Msalam, received the Chairman of the Shura Council, Ali al Saleh, where they discussed the means of boosting cooperation and coordination between the two councils during the sixth legislative term. They also reviewed joint work in the upcoming phase. 
And Ibsalem praised the unrelenting efforts of the legislative branch to uh, concretize uh, the visions of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, promote the Democratic and Development March, and achieve the aspirations of the Bahraini people. The Shura Council Chairman stressed the full readiness for joint work to serve the nation and citizens. The Speaker of the Council of Representatives received the Minister of Parliament Affairs, Aghanim al -Buhainin. They discussed issues of common interest and preparations for the new legislative term. They also reviewed means of boosting cooperation between the executive and legislative branches to serve the nation and citizens. The Speaker hailed the royal address and the valuable directives it contained, sharding a roadmap for the upcoming phase. He asserted that the Council of Representatives will continue building on previous achievements brought about during the previous legislative terms. The Minister of Interior General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa attended a ceremony held by the ministry at the police fort on the occasion of Bahrain Police Day in the presence of a number of ministers, senior officials, officers and retirees. Upon the minister's arrival, he was received by the Chief of Police Security, Lieutenant General Tariq Al Hassan. Then the anthem of the Minister of Interior was played. The ceremony began with a recitation of verses from the Holy Quran. Then Sheikh Rashid bin Abdel delivered the following speech. يسرني وببالغ الفخر والاعتزاز أن أرفع باسمي ونيابة عن كافة من سوبي وزارة الداخلية أسمى آيات التهاني وأقلص التبريكات إلى مقام سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلال الملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة ملك البلاد المعظم القائد الأعلى للقوات المسلحة حفظه الله ورعاه وإلى صاحب السمو الملكي الأمير سلمان بن حمد آل خليفة ولي العهد رئيس مجلس الوزراء حفظه الله بمناسبة احتفالات مملكة البحرين بأعيادها الوطنية إحياء لذكرى قيام الدولة البحرينية الحديثة في عهد المؤسس أحمد الفاتح وذكرى تولي سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلال الملك المعظم حفظه الله ورعاه مقاليد الحكم وفي ظل هذه المناسبات الوطنية يأتي يوم شرطة البحرين يوماً للاعتزاز والفخر والإنجاز والتشرف بخدمة الوطن والنهوض بالواجب الأمني يوم عز وعطاء يوم تجديد العهد والولاء لقائد مسيرة الإنجاز الوطني سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلال الملك المعظم حفظه الله ورعاه مستلهمين العزيمة وقوة الإرادة من توجيهات جلالته والتي تمثل الركيزة الأساسية في حفظ الأمن وصون المنجزات الوطنية شاكرا ومقدرا ما تلقاه شرطة البحرين من دعم ومسادرة واهتمام من صاحب السمو الملكي ولي العهد رئيس مجلس الوزراء حفظه الله الحضور الكرام إن الاستقرار الأمني نعمة عظيمة من نعم الله سبحانه وتعالى تدخل الطمأنينة والسعادة في نفوس الجميع يشارك المواطنون الأعزاء في الحفاظ عليها وفي استدامتها من خلال الشراكة المجتمعية 
ودورها المتميز في تحقيق الأمن المجتمعي لتبقى البحرين آمنة مستقرة بفضل إخلاص أهلها لوطنهم والالتزام بوحدته والحفاظ على تماسك شبهته الداخلية وفي يوم شرطة البحرين فإني أشيد وبكل اعتزاز بما تحقق من إنجازات أمنية تؤكد الإصرار والعزيمة وجولة التخطيط ودقة التنفيذ والتي قادت إلى كسب ثقة المواطنين وتعاونهم مما ساعد في انخفاض المعدل العام للجريمة بشكل غير مسبوق تجسيداً للمسؤولية التي تنظمها المعادلة الأمنية بين المواطن والشرطة في حفظ الأمن والنظام العام كما أعرب عن اعتزازي بما تحقق من نتائج متميزة في مسار حقوق الإنسان ومنها تطبيق مشروع العقوبات البديلة والسجون المفتوحة وكذلك الارتقاء بمستوى التدريب الأمني والعلمي وإطلاق برامج تعليمية وتدريبية متقدمة بما في ذلك برامج الدراسات العليا بالأكاديمية الملكية للشرطة بالإضافة إلى ما تم استحداثه من خدمات فاعلة من قبل مختلف الجهات الفاعلة بالوزارة ولم يكن هذا الإنجاز إلا حصيلة الجهد والتفاني في أداء الواجب وتقديم التضحيات مستذكرين في هذه المناسبة شهداء الواجب وما قدموه لوطنهم من تضحيات إنسانية نبيلة تظل دائما في الوجدان تخلدها الذاكرة الوطنية لتبقى زادا للأجيال ونورا للمستقبل داعيا الله العلي القدير أن يتغمد شهداء الواجب بواسع رحمته وأن يجمعهم مع الصديقين في جنات النعيم وأن يجزي ذويهم أجر الصابرين الحضور الكرام مهما كانت التحديات فإن العزيمة الصادقة والإرادة الوطنية ستبقى السد المنيع لحفظ أمن الوطن لينعم أبناؤه جميعاً بالطمأنينة والسكينة والاستقرار وإن نهجنا الأمني للمرحلة المقبلة يضع في الاعتبار التهديدات والتحديات المستقبلية وخصوصاً تلك التي استفادت ووظفت تقنية المعلومات الحديثة الأمر الذي يتطلب منا تبني استراتيجية أمنية متطورة تتضمن إعداد الكوادر الأمنية القادرة على التعامل بكفاءة مع المتغيرات والتحديات الأمنية المستقبلية الإخوة والأخوات الأعزاء منسوبي وزارة الداخلية سيظل الرابع عشر من ديسمبر من كل عام يوماً لتحية عطائكم والاعتزاز بما تقدمونه في حفظ أمن الوطن وسلامته ففي كل مرة توكل لنا مهمة أو مسؤولية وطنية أتذكر مواقفكم المشرفة وما تتحلون به من انضباط وكفاءة من أجل رفعة البحرين فأتوكل على الله وعلى إخلاصكم وتفانيكم في العمل فأنتم مصدر فخري واعتزازي عبر مسيرة العطاء الأمنية فقد عرفت ثباتكم في أدق الظروف العملية وعرفت إخلاصكم بتضحياتكم الكبيرة وبفضل من الله وتوفيقه فإننا نجتمع اليوم رؤوسنا مرفوعة حافظون للعهد والقسم لتبقى راية الأمن خفاقة في سماء المجد بإذن الله شكرا حفظ الله البحرين وأدام عليها نعمة الأمن والأمان 
في ظل قيادة قائد الوطن وحامي قيمه الإنسانية وهويته العروبية المسلمة سيدي حضرة صاحب الجلالة الملك حمد بن عيسى آل خليفة ملك البلاد المعظم حفظه الله ورعاه والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته A police parade showcased the personnel's competency, discipline and high performance the police band also performed to mark the occasion.
His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa conferred upon the affiliates of the Ministry of Interior the First Class Bahrain Medal and the Distinguished Security Service Medal, where the Minister of Interior presented them on the honorees. Marking the National Day, the Minister of Education, Dr. Mohammed Mbarak Jumaa, gave an exclusive interview to Bahrain Television in which he highlighted Bahrain's achievements in the field of education and the importance of bringing together students and parents under the umbrella of education. I would like to congratulate His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince on the occasion of the National Day of Bahrain. This is actually a very important uh, occasion for the Ministry of Education. As you know, we've got thousands and thousands of students who celebrate this occasion on a yearly basis. This year, all our schools in the public and the private sector are going to celebrate this occasion. You're talking about more than 200,000 students. Schools actually um, conduct a lot of celebrations and occasions and events uh, to bring uh, students, parents, and all those who love Bahrain uh, under the umbrella of education. And at the same time, we present to them all the uh, success stories that we have achieved in education. I think education in Bahrain is a flourishing uh, and education is patronized by His Majesty the King. And the government of Bahrain is following up a lot of projects and programs that support education. We feel so much uh, grateful to this and we will continue to develop education in Bahrain and the focus on learning attainment uh, so that we reach a lot of international um, benchmarks and standards based on our plan set by the Supreme Council for the Development of Education and Training. 
Bahrain's ambassador to the United Kingdom, Sheikh Fawaz bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, held a reception and lunch banquet at the historic Lancaster House in London. The ambassador delivered a speech during the ceremony in which he referred to the deep-rooted relations between the two countries and he expressed aspirations to strengthen bilateral relations and continue to strengthen the existing cooperation for the benefit of the two countries in a way that contributes to the promotion of peace and security in the region and the world. The ambassador also pointed out that Bahrain has made many achievements this year, including the historic visit of His Holiness the Pope of the Vatican to Bahrain, accompanied by the Grand Imam of Al-Azhar al-Sharif, which constituted an exceptional stage established by the royal approach and the noble visions of His Majesty the King. The ambassador also referred to the outstanding success of the parliamentary and municipal elections, which witnessed a record turnout of 73%, and the 18th Manama Dialogue witnessed a high level of participation from the UK. The ambassador stressed Bahrain's participation in the Universal Periodic Review of the UN confirms its commitment to the highest standards of human rights protection, referring to Bahrain's political, economic and social rights achievements, which include the combat of human trafficking and the establishment of monitoring institutions specialized in human rights. For his part, the chairman of the British Conservative Party, Minister Nazim Al-Zahawi, has praised the role of Ambassador Sheikh Fawaz bin Mohammed Al Khalifa in strengthening our British relations. Bahrain's embassy in Kuwait held a reception ceremony on the occasion of Bahrain's National Days. Bahrain's minister to Kuwait, uh, Salah Ali al-Malki, congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad al-Khalifa and the people of Bahrain on the occasion. He highlighted the deep-rooted brotherly relations between Bahrain and Kuwait, the efforts and support of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and the Interior in Kuwait. The celebration was attended by the Kuwaiti Minister of Foreign Affairs, Salim al-Jabar al-Sabah, and a number of officials. The Bahraini Embassy in Oman held a reception ceremony on the occasion of Bahrain's celebrations of its national day. Bahrain Ambassador to Oman, Dr. Jamal Kabi, has expressed his congratulations to His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister and the people of Bahrain, wishing Bahrain progress and prosperity. The Ambassador affirmed in his speech that the relations between Bahrain and Oman are historical and extend through the ages established by the forefathers and are considered a model for relations between the two countries and people. Senior government officials, ambassadors and heads of diplomatic relations of Oman participated in the ceremony. The Bahraini Embassy in Jordan held a reception ceremony on the occasion of Bahrain's celebrations of its National Day. Bahrain Ambassador to Jordan Ahmed bin Yusuf al has expressed his congratulations to His Majesty the King, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister and the people of Bahrain wishing Bahrain progress and prosperity. The Ambassador affirmed in his speech that the relations between Bahrain and Jordan are historical and extend through the ages established by the forefathers and are considered a solid model for relations between the two countries and people. Senior officials, ambassadors and heads of diplomatic relations of John Jordan have participated in the ceremony. Bahrain's embassy in Germany held a reception ceremony on the occasion of Bahrain National Days and the 50th anniversary of diplomatic relations between Bahrain and Germany. Bahrain's ambassador to Germany, Abdullah Abdullatif Abdullah, congratulated His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince on the occasion. He expressed pride in Bahrain-German relations and the development they witnessed in all fields. He highlighted the visit of Pope Francis to Bahrain, which affirms its keenness on consolidating the values of tolerance, dialogue, and mutual understanding. He also hailed Bahrain success in holding the parliamentary elections. The German Parliamentary State Secretary to the Federal Minister for Economic Cooperation and Development, Niels Annen, participated in the ceremony as a guest of honor and expressed pride and pleasure for the level of Bahrain-German relations, affirming his country's aspirations to bolster relations with Bahrain in all fields. Marking the Kingdom of Bahrain's National Day, the German ambassador to the Kingdom of Bahrain, Clemens Hach, gave us this exclusive statement in which he expressed congratulations and commended the relations between his country and the Kingdom of Bahrain. Yes, I'd like to congratulate um, the Bahraini leadership, the Bahraini people, um, to the 51st uh, National Day. Um, Germany, as you know, has been one of the first countries to recognize Bahrain uh, diplomatically. We have celebrated uh, our 50 years of diplomatic relations this year extensively in Berlin here with uh, different celebrations. And now we're looking at uh, the joint future of our cooperation. Um, Germany and Bahrain are linked by strong economic ties. 
um, a joint political vision, especially when it comes to the respect of international law, sovereignty, um, and working together in the, in the United Nations. Um, and looking at the challenges ahead, especially the climate change, um, there is, uh, I think, a great potential in cooperation. Um, German technology could help Bahrain uh, achieve the energetic transition. Um, and uh, Bahrain can obviously also help Germany uh, achieve energetic uh, security for the future. So this is certainly one of the areas where, um, based on a very nice and, and, and very friendly joint past, we're looking at a bright future of cooperation. The South Korean ambassador to the Kingdom of Bahrain, Hai Kwon Chung, spoke to us about Bahrain-Korean relations, during which he expressed congratulations and commended the Bahraini leadership and its honorable achievements. I would like to extend my heartfelt congratulations to the government and the people of the Kingdom of Bahrain on the occasion of the National Day. And uh, under the leadership of the His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, I believe Bahrain has made significant strides this year, locally, regionally, and internationally. And uh, Korea and Bahrain, the two friendly countries, have enjoyed very strong bond for 46 years. And our joint works and cooperation has always been highly rewarded in a mutually beneficial way. So deepening our relations, widening our mutual understanding among the people. For 51 years, I believe Bahrain has been an inspiration and pioneer in the region for democratic social values and multicultural diversity. I hope and believe these developments will pave the way for greater achievements in the future and also developed into comprehensive partnerships between the two countries. And Bangladesh's ambassador to Bahrain, Dr. M.D. Nazrul Islam, highlighted that the Kingdom of Bahrain and Bangladesh both gained independence on the same day of the same year, enjoying 51 years of democratic freedom. The ambassador praised bilateral relations and commended the leadership and the people of Bahrain on Bahrain's national day. Bangladesh and Bahrain has been enjoying excellent relations since independence. And uh, we, both countries, got independence in the same year, 1971. And 16 December is celebrated here in Bahrain, Kingdom of Bahrain, National Day of Kingdom of Bahrain. And Bangladesh, we celebrate Victory Day of Bangladesh. And uh, uh, 51 uh, years passed already, both nations uh, got independence. And we move forward to our relationship on the basis of mutual friendship, brotherlyhood, and also common faith and culture. And I look forward to have excellent ties between Bangladesh and Bahrain in coming years. Uh, particularly, I am focusing on trade and investment cooperation between two brotherly countries. And I wish again people and government of Kingdom of Bahrain on this very joyous occasion, uh, happy National Day of Kingdom of Bahrain and peace, prosperity and development of Kingdom of Bahrain. As part of the Bahrain holiday season, the National Holiday Festival organized by the Ministry of Information continues to receive visitors to the Heritage Village in Ras Hayyan. The Heritage Village receives its visitors from 5 p.m. until 11 p.m. as the festival is characterized by the participation of a number of government agencies. The festival also offers various public events and activities, including folk bands and the souk, in addition to various entertainment programs for all age groups.